So in this video, we're going to cover what it's like to play in a priest, your typical caster class that uses intellect as its primary stat and can only wear cloth. It has one damage spec and the only class in the game that has two healing specs. One of their unique abilities is giving 10% more health to everyone in their party. And the other ability I think is unique to priests is a leap of faith, which can give you the power to move someone in your group to your location. So essentially a lot of trolling involved. Well, let's start with their gameplay. Holy is their first healing spec. It's probably the most accessible healing spec in the game. If you want to get into healing, Holy is probably the best healing spec to start with. I will recommend it solely because it's so simple. You can pick it up and probably know how to play it. It has spells like these. Um, heal. Right, it heals. A circle of healing. Guess what, what it does? You know, you have renew, heals over time. Often also called hot, heal over time. You'll get that in more videos. While we have this healer, very straightforward, the, on the other side you have shadow, which is their damage dealing spec. It uses this unique resource called insanity, which you gain by pressing abilities that gain insanity, like vampiric touch, Shadow Ward Pain, Mind Blast, Mind Flay, all that will give you insanity to spend on your spender, which is Devouring Plague, which again just deals more damage. And if you want to deal damage to a group of players, you can pick Mind Seer in your talent tree and spend your insanity this way to generate damage in an area of effect or AOE. The spec itself has a lot of intricacies. It's not that simple to pick up and play as opposed to holy. I would say the skill ceiling on this spec is a bit higher. If you want a challenging rotation, maybe this one is for you. The last priest spec is called discipline and it's kind of a combination between holy and shadow with its unique flavor having two unique i would say play styles to it what it does is it, you can preemptively shield everyone in your party before the damage even comes so by that nature alone the spec is uh, rather more complicated than holy regardless of that aspect of shielding everyone preemptively essentially when you heal someone one, it'll give you this atonement passive dealing damage with your damaging abilities like smite or whatever you can heal with the portion of that damage directly to the people you already healed so again preemptively uh, healing right so you can't instantly heal with some exceptions to like oh shit buttons usually how you do your bread and butter healing as a disciplined priest you would rather plan ahead and see where the damage is going to come beforehand and prepare for it so that's the gameplay part done next up we have the priest visuals and aesthetics and personally i love how the shadow priest looks i said it in the, in the last video i love the shadowy apparitions that comes out of it when, when you're just dealing damage i love how it has these abilities they're called shadow crash and void form and they're so explosive in nature with the void energy i love this aesthetic i know some people don't like it that's fine so for the other two healers, we have Discipline and Holy, which are very focused on uh, sparkles and light. And Holy is more close to angels and more, I would say, like gives you this Christianity vibes to it uh, with a lot of crosses and angelic effects. That's sort of flavor. Uh, Discipline has this combination of both. You can see that pretty clearly in uh, one of their spells called Penance, in which you shoot this very cool spiral ability that heals or deals damage depending on where you're targeted at. To complement its shielding nature, it has this spell called Power Ward Barrier, which uh, is a protective dome. Looks spectacular in my opinion, very flashy. Now let's go over the Priest Ra output. As I always say, Take this part with a grain of salt. Blizzard are constantly changing stuff, so you should always prepare yourself to... Maybe my class will get nerfed. The reason I'm playing this class isn't solely for the numbers themselves, is because I like how it's played. That being said, I would say that historically, Shadow was on the weaker side of tuning, with the heaven and exception in the World of Warcraft expansion Legion back in 2016. In the first 
Raid Tier Emerald Nightmare Shadow was at the top by a mile while using the ability Surrender to Madness. It's no longer the case. Shadow are no longer close to the top. Tuning are constantly changing. We saw some patches lately. Shadows having their place uh, in Dragonflight in PvP. You know, who, who knows what will happen according to tuning in, I don't know, a month or two for now. Always keep that in mind while picking a spec to play with. Now let's talk about the Holy tuning. Holy was usually on the weaker side of the tuning. I want to believe that maybe Blizzard is doing it on purpose. So Holy as a more easier, straightforward, accessible class is tuned lower in order for you to in be incentivized to play a more um, complicated one uh, with more utility and more throughput, you know, more potential to be in greater. Maybe it's just my opinion and a great example to uh, prove this isn't the case is Beast Mastery Hunters, but we'll talk about them in the Hunter video. Lastly, I want to talk about discipline and the tuning of discipline. Tuning for discipline is so hard to indicate of how much it heals because it wasn't really about the healing for discipline. So if you're measuring the amount of healing discipline does as opposed to other healers, you can see it's like lower, but it's not really lower because you need to add to that the numbers that the, they're not even getting through due to its protective nature. Famously, they were used in multiple world first kills in the most high-end raids, dungeons, and arena ratings there is. Discipline is mostly used in the best arena composition, which is RMP, Rogue, Mage, Priest, and Priest being Discipline. Overall, I give the Priest a score of 7 out of 10. It's not great, but it's not bad, right? It's kind of there. I wanted to keep it short so I didn't go much in detail over every single ability every single priest spec has. I wanted to keep it kind of surface level and kind of introduce new players to what being a priest is. If there's anything you think I missed, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoy this type of video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.